Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance. Today, we're going to take a look at the Senior Prom from Plumman Vaisalov. I just got this in the mail, and we're going to open it up and put it into our Apple IIe and see if we can use it to crack some discs. So, let's get started. So today we're going to take a look at the senior prom for the Apple IIe and I thought it'd be fun to start out with a advertisement for the senior prom. This appeared in the Computist magazine probably around 1986 or 1987 and you can see that they're advertising version 3.0, a complete set of utilities in ROM to examine, modify, and back up your Apple IIe or 2C software. And if you look at the actual manual for the Senior Prom, primary objective of this manual is to provide you with the knowledge to deprotect programs using the Senior Prom. Of course, using this information for illegal or otherwise illicit uses is not the intent of this series and is written only for your amusement and education. If we go over to a2heaven.com, this is where I actually bought mine. So this is a clone done by Plamen Vaisalev. All right, so here's the senior prom in its package. And let's open it up and see what we've got. Uh, we've got a bookmark from Bulgaria. Plomin's always nice enough to include those. And here's the package from it. So the senior prom is basically a add-on for the ROMs inside your Apple IIe. And so let's see, what do we have in here? We've got the actual board itself, so there's that. Okay, we've got uh, some cables. I guess we'll see what those do in a minute. And then it looks like a set of instructions on how to use it. So basically, uh, what it does, it sits on top of the CD and EF ROMs inside your Apple IIe and what it does is it actually intercepts all of the calls then and it routes them to either the regular ROMs or it can actually route them to the custom ROMs that are inside uh, these ROM chips and they let you interrupt any program that's running on the Apple IIe and examine memory and write it out to disk and basically they're really useful if you have uh, copy protected games, this sometimes can be one of the only ways to actually look at the memory itself and see what's going on. So here's the senior prom installed in my Apple IIe. I actually was able to put back my no slot clock and I just mounted that right here. So that actually goes between the senior prom board and the CD prom there. Now I've also got the non-maskable interrupt wire coming off of the senior prom here and that goes over to pin 6 on the 65 CO2 and then finally I have the ribbon cable coming out of the senior prom and I just wired it through the top of the case here through one of the slots. Uh, one thing to keep in mind the picture is wrong on the A2 Heaven site so if you look at the board here you can see that the wire on the right hand side, and in my case it happens to be white, yours might be different, uh, but the white wire is the pin on the right and that comes out and it actually becomes the wire on the left hand side of the switchboard. It doesn't really matter if you wire it backwards, what will happen is you'll turn it on and the LEDs won't light up. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind, this senior prom does stick up quite a ways and so I did have a CFFA 3000 in slot 7 and that's no longer going to fit. So now let's go ahead and we'll fire it up and see how the senior prom works. Alright, so the first thing I want to show is how to use the senior prom to actually look at memory and then move the main memory to auxiliary memory and then back. and 
to demonstrate this, I'm going to use Choplifter. And let's imagine you're playing the game and you've just rescued uh, 16 people. And so there they are going into the building. And this is a really hard game to finish. So let's say you want to just save it at this point and then be able to restore it in case something bad happens. So what we can do is we can interrupt the computer with the non-maskable interrupt button. And with the senior prom that's available from A2Heaven, this only has a toggle switch for the switch from the regular ROM to the senior prom. So what you need to do is press the non-maskable interrupt button, which is the red one on the right. And then while holding it down, press the green button, which will actually activate the senior prom. So we're going to go ahead and press the red one and we can press the green one. So now we've activated the senior prom and we can let go of both buttons now. So the first thing we actually want to do is save all of main memory to auxiliary memory. So to do that, we just hit five and you can see it beeps and it puts a little S down in the corner. And now we can go ahead and we can take a look at the graphics. So if we just hit the keys here, we can switch from text mode to graphics mode, uh, from low res to high res. We can look at page one or page two. So there's page two. If you go back to uh, low res or high res, there's actually page two, so that's interesting. So there's page one and page two, and you can actually see how it's flipping back and forth between the two pages. Then we can do other things, like we can actually take a look at the stack. So if we hit S, then you can see this is the display of the stack. So here's the program counter at the bottom. So we were at location 7C03. Uh, here's the accumulator, X and Y register. There's the program status, and there's the stack pointer right there. And we can actually see all of the different routines that were being called. So here's 7C03 looking higher up in the stack. It's going back to 93C9. Don't forget that we need to add one to all these. And so you can just walk your way up the stack to see where the game is uh, calling from subroutines. Other things we can do, we can actually disassemble. So the program counter is at 7C03. If I hit the D key, it'll actually show me the instructions surrounding that location. And so you can see this is what the program is doing. It looks like here at the top, this is the beginning of a subroutine because just before it is a return from subroutine. Uh, one cool thing about the uh, senior prom is actually it puts the text ASCII characters over here on the right-hand side. So if you did actually happen to have some human readable text in your program, you'd be able to see that. So now let's actually go back to the game. And so now that we've actually copied all of the main memory to auxiliary memory, we can go back, we can restart the game, and then if we die, we can actually just do the opposite, where we copy back from auxiliary memory back to main memory. So if we switch back to graphics, so we want to go to graphics, high res, and we'll keep it at page one because that's where we were, and then we just hit restart, and this should take us back to the game. And here we are, so now we're back playing the game. Oop! All right, so somebody just died, so I don't wanna actually do that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna again hit my non-maskable interrupt button. Okay, so we're gonna turn back on graphics to high res, say page one. And you can see this is right back where we started and then I'll just hit R for restart. And now we're right back where we were before, before we actually died.